how to program in, in uh, Fortran 90 and 95. So first of all, uh, here is a compiler. Compiler is a program that runs Fortran codes. So if you type FTM95 on the Google, then you get the first result. And it is uh, by the company Civil Frost. While uh, you click on the first result, you go to the download now. And after a while, you have the program downloaded. And if you install it, then you will find it in the Silver Frost menu. And you click on the plateau icon, and here you go. Now, of course, you're familiar with uh, new and open uh, icons on the upper left corner. Uh, and then you click on the free format because it is about Fortran 90 and 95 and not Fortran 77 with its fixed format. Now every program starts with uh, the command program and then the name of the program. In our case is a Greek name because I made this video initially for Greek students. Now every program ends with the command end or end program or end program and the name of the program. I usually prefer to finish it with end program command. Now, uh, as you notice already, uh, there are the blue and green and black letters and this is not me who is doing this. Uh, if you type an explanation mark before anything, then it becomes uh, automatically uh, green and this is because it, it is something that the compiler won't read. It is a, a comment of anything that uh, we do. It's something for us, not for the compiler. Now, um, every program is uh, composed by three different parts. Uh, the first one is the declaration, the second one is the main uh, text, main body of the program, and the third one that I just erased it a bit ago, it is a part where uh, you will find uh, the subroutines and the functions that take place in these programs. But for now we're going to work only with the two first parts. Uh, Okay, now I've written uh, a command that is, its name is implicit none, and this is a very, very important one uh, because if you type this thing, then everything that you uh, are going to use, every variable, it has to be declared. And now, as you can see, I use the variable a, which is not declared. So I'm waiting for uh, an error message to appear. Um, so the first thing that I do is to press on the compile button and then the program will ask for a, a save name um, and it could be anything. Not only the name that I gave on the in the program but anything. So I just type here example one as you can see, it is uh, F95 because it is uh, the Fortran 95 uh, way that we type and not the uh, uh, F77 or... But it is almost the same with F90 and the only difference between those two is that some commands have been expelled. I don't use them so you don't have any problem. Uh, for either of the two different types, F90 and F95. So, um, here you see that we have two different problems. The first one is a warning and the second one is an error. Of course, the error is about the thing that I told you just before, that A was not declared in the beginning and we are not allowed to use it if we don't declare it.
and you can read it on the red line a the variable must appear in the type declaration because implicit none has been used and the second one is uh, the first one actually <laughs> is a warning and it says that variable a has been given a value but never used uh, generally the errors don't allow us to run the program to build the program and the warnings uh, just notice us just warn us that uh, we have to delete some things because they don't make sense now we have a lot of types of uh, variables in Fortran uh, the main two that we're going to use for this program is real and integer uh, for uh, the real variables we can give and integer of course we can give any name but we usually prefer for integers to give names like i and j and k because they are used like numerators uh, so we will uh, find them very often when we have loops and we use them to find out uh, in which time of the loop we are so uh, what's next so since we now declared the um, a variable there is no problem anymore so we can uh, actually um, compile again and then you'll, you'll see there's no error there are only warnings about the variables that we didn't use and then if you build it actually what build is it's to make an exe file that when you press run it runs <laughs> so uh, here is the result of our program it only says press return to close window uh, this is because um, we didn't tell the program to do anything else than give a value to the a variable so uh, we have to press every time enter every time we run the program uh, to finish it because uh, it is not allowed to press the X boot button at the upper right corner I don't know why is that this is a problem of the compiler not of Fortran now it's a good thing that, that we can see what we do so I I uh, wrote the command print and this doesn't print like a printer but it gives us a value or anything that we told the computer to tell us and now you can see because, it, because it's a real variable uh, the value was not 3 but it was 3.000 now I'm going to give um, a value in at the I uh, variable and to the I variable and now you can see that we have two different values they are uh, they are not equal actually don't uh, think that it's the same it's totally different they have a different use so <clears throat> now it's important to know why uh, what is what we see in a uh, in the com um, in the DOS environment so we could type anything I type over here congratulations you just made your first program in uh, Fortran and the values that you uh, that were given are A and I. Now you see that everything that is uh, between the um, quotes, uh, they don't, they are not values. They are just plain text. So, but everything that is out of the quotes and between uh, commas, uh, they are values. So now that we run the program, you can see that it types 
anything that we wrote on the program to do. Uh, I'm out of time, so see you at the next video.